Chinese State of Mind is my first exhibition as a curator. Um, I was asked in 2013 by the Serpentine Gallery to create a show about design. In this new challenge, I wanted to bring together a lot of private collections. Private collection of people that are friends, colleagues, um, in some cases people that I, that I wanted to meet. Um, I probably um, was interested in their work. And I wanted to bring together these collections to show the plurality in a way, the, you know, the kind of the, the vastness of, of the design world. Not as a singular um, take on my particular taste, but as a, as a cross-section of what, what design has been and what design is and what it can be potentially in the future. For the exhibition in Bolzano, I've asked also three uh, local collectors to contribute with their uh, collections. A mineral collection, mineral rock collection, of my, my former neighbor, Florian Meyer, who has been an amateur rock collector for 60 years. And um, I wanted to include those, those minerals because to me they are somehow, they are the, the starting point of what design, where design started. Flintstones and, and the various. And uh, somehow there's always, always been inspiration for creative people. Nature has always been an inspiration. Um, organic materials, rocks, and so on. The second collection is a collection of a local designer called Walter Thaler, who very much collects uh, material samples and uh, he works a lot in interior projects and he tries to reinvent materials, he tries to mix materials, um, and there's somehow a cross section of his uh, activity in his. Um, material library. And the third collection is the collection of an artist, Bertie Scuber. She collects um, time capsules somehow. She stuffs a lot of objects into glasses, leaves them uh, for several years in one place and then maybe digs them out again and then makes works from it. Um, she gave me a rather large glass and um, their object has somehow left our everyday uh, use. Discarded, uh, maybe not so functional anymore, but it's still they talk about what happens to objects when they somehow start to disintegrate and start to malfunction or have another use, potentially used as a, as a metaphor for something, um, or they have, might have a use as a, as a symbol. Mm -hmm.